Hi, welcome to this podcast on the systems lifecycle development part of the system lifecycle. Uh, this is based on F451 OCR computing A level. Right, so in the development stage of the systems lifecycle, it's quite simple. This is where the sim solution is built. The analyst will often turn over the solution to a specialist whose job it is to produce a solution which is based on the design. The specialist may be expert on programming um, and methods of handling data, but ultimately will only be following the instructions given by the analyst. There needs to be certain rules in place when implementing so that if more than one program is working on the project, they don't start using similar variable names for different parts of the project. So this is where the design and program specifications will be used. And that's why it's important that you have design in a uh, systems lifecycle, why you have the design phase. Because if you have a number of people working on a program, you have to ensure that everyone is working towards the same solution and using uh, consistent variable names uh, and other parts of the project. The design may change during the process of implementing, however, all documentation should be updated to ensure all those building the system are aware of changes. So if we do make changes as we're going through, that can happen, but you have to make sure that all documentation is updated so everyone's aware of it, and there has to be some sort of consultation that would occur if changes did occur during the development stage. This is sometimes called implementation as well, depending on who you uh, who you talk to. Uh, 